My main mission is to get you a job. <laughs> Students tell me they've got a very good job. It does cheer me up. I'm Keith Pilby. I'm in charge of the MSc Business Economics and International Business Economics programmes. On the International Business Economics and Business Economics programmes, the focus is on economics. Some people think it's to do with international business, and it's not. You know, we use economics and quantitative analysis. We're looking for well-motivated students that are prepared to work with each other. My main areas of interest are in international economics and international finance and financial markets. Things like Brexit have been high on my agenda in recent years. At the moment, we've got a Ukrainian crisis. Also, inflation is picking up around the globe at the moment. Having an international dimension is absolutely critical to actually be a good economist and give good policy advice. I teach, of course, the most interesting one, which is financial markets, but then there's econometrics, quantitative methods, business economics. So they're the core programmes. We've got various other modules, international business economics, competition and regulation, corporate finance, and the list goes on. We've got a range of options that we hope they will find useful for their careers going ahead. I'm very proud of the employment record of our graduates, because as I say, that's my main mission. They go into a variety of careers. So consultancy has actually been very keen on our students because they can see the kind of things we're doing, like competition and regulation, and they need people with that knowledge. Fund management has been an area where many of our students go. Government economic service has been very important recruiter because governments, they have a big need for economists that give them policy advice and also can do some of the work that governments need to do. If you name the institution, we've probably got a graduate there over the years of the programme. Companies like Bloomberg, Reuters, Goldman Sachs, Citigroup, Shell, BP, a lot of our students actually try to stay in London, they, they like London and I'm not surprised, it's a great city. Many of them of course do return to their home nation, but then their grasp of English has improved a lot as well as their, the, that different view of the world and that's really valued when they go back home. In a bit to improve your career prospects, the economics department does have a body that advises the economics department from industry. The career service at City University is excellent. They do careers fairs and many of our students make very good contacts. If you're investing in an MSc programme, you're not just investing, of course, money, but you're investing your time. My advice is, is to really carefully research the place that you select. When you look for a job or apply to a programme, show that you're actually interested in the programme. 